Good morning, I'm Rockstone, and this is New Testament News. Our top story this morning, Jesus is alive. Am I, am I reading this right? Jesus, alive? He can't be alive, they crucified him, right? He don't just come back to life from that. Oh, we do? Seriously? Okay, well, uh, there are people saying that Jesus is alive and that he's no longer in the grave. Sounds pretty silly to me, but I am told that we have a man at the tomb with a live report. We now take you live on the scene. This is Mark's story with New Testament news and I'm standing here with- Come on, Mark. Why are you there uh, for this? Yeah, sorry, Rock. Yeah, when, when I heard the news, I, I had to come down and see for myself. We actually can't get close um, to the tomb itself because of the amount of people that are, they're trying to see him, but but guess what? He's not there, Rock. He is risen. Ridiculous, Mark. The dead don't just come back to well, life. Well, listen, Rock, they do when Jesus raises them to life, <laughs> and guess what they do when you're the son of God? <laughs> oh, here we go again. Listen, Rock, it's true. I've got someone uh, here with me today who saw the entire thing. This is Jesus' personal friend, Mary Magdalene. Mary, tell us, uh, uh, tell us what you saw. Yeah, I came out this morning with a friend, expecting to find the tomb sealed up and hoping to find a soldier there that would help us to roll the stone away. But when we got there, the stone was rolled away and the soldiers were gone. And, and, and where was Jesus? He wasn't there, Mark. Instead, there was an angel, and the angel said, why are you looking for the living among the dead? He is not dead, he is risen. Wow. Come on, Mark. You expect us to believe that story? If he's alive, where is he? Can you tell me that? I don't know where he is right now, but he was just here half an hour ago. He, he was? I told the disciples and they came down to have a look. After they had a look, a man came up and asked why I was crying. I told him, I don't know where my Lord's body is. And then he said my name and I knew it was Jesus, Mark. He is risen. Well, well, there you have it, Rock. He is alive. And that's the full story. Well, if this is true, this is big news indeed. We will keep you posted as the story develops. For New Testament news, I am Rock Stone. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh my goodness. Oh, Starburst, yes. Okay, what else, what else is in here? Oh, some more Starburst. I'm gonna keep this for later. Okay, and, oh yes, Twix, Twix, Twix. Wait, okay, I'll keep that for later. Let's see. Uh-oh, there's no candy inside this egg. That would be a real disappointment on Easter Sunday, wouldn't it? These eggs are supposed to have M&Ms or jelly beans or Skittles. They're not supposed to be empty. Tombs aren't meant to be empty either. Tombs are supposed to have something or someone inside. But on Easter Sunday, Mary Magdalene discovered an empty tomb. Isn't that crazy? Jesus rose from the dead. Mary was there on the scene. She was the first to see the empty tomb and the first to see Jesus. But she was not the only one people started telling everyone that Jesus was alive, and others came to see Jesus face to face. Even though we cannot see him, we can believe from their eyewitness reports that Jesus is alive. People who believe in Jesus today may have never seen him in person, but Jesus lives in their hearts. They know that God loves them, and they know Jesus died for them. They can tell you that Jesus has made all the difference in their lives. Jesus wants to make a difference in your lives too. He died so that He could forgive our sins. If you've never accepted Jesus as your Savior, Easter is the perfect time to make that important decision. It's the day we remember that Jesus died for us, and it's the day we remember that He is alive. We celebrate Easter, not because we love candy, but because we love Jesus. Jesus is alive. His tomb is empty, like an Easter egg without candy. Let's celebrate Jesus today, and we would love to lead you in a prayer today so you can know Jesus. Ask any of your small group leaders and they'd be happy to lead you in that prayer. Happy Easter!